if you're currently watching this video chances are your age are probably around my 18 either you are already out of the society or you haven't but you're going to either of that case the most important is that we know what we're going to do every single day it's very important for us to manage our time and at least if things goes bad you can anticipate it right so imagine if you waste all your 20s partying having fun doing drugs drinking you know want to have fun and even getting a normal job i don't resent normal job like somebody have has to work it right but the problem is after you finish your nine to five job what are you going to do next and you better not be playing video games watching television every single day and say that you're feeling tired if you wanted to be successful you have to go by bypass that you have to work hard you need to grind more it's very normal if you want to be successful you work more spend more time on grinding and if you don't want to improve yourself, you don't want to work hard, you don't want to be successful, you can click on this video. You can leave any hate comment you want. I just don't care. Our purpose is not the same. But if you really want to work hard, you want to change your family life, you want to change your generation, change your bloodline, this is a video to watch. Because what we're going to do is going to significantly determine your success later on. So we're going to go over how to schedule your day. And why? Everyone keep on asking me, Ivan, why you preach so much about scheduling every single minute of the day? Because if you don't schedule, you're going to waste a bunch of time doing those unimportant stuff. And you know what it is. Maybe you're frosting your teeth, you're playing video games, watch a bit of social media. Maybe you're stretching because you want to rest a bit, you know. But you know, once you spend this kind of minutes, 5-10 minutes, it's more like 25-30 minutes. And you add up every single day, it's going to be huge. So all the idea later on that I'm going to mention is come from this book, Extreme Productivity by Robert C. Poulton. So in the first few chapter, he mentioned about how to schedule a thing. So we're going to go over right now. As you can see, uh, this is a blank page. So uh, I want you to step one on how to prioritize the thing. Okay, so step one, I want you to list out every single thing that you want to do and you are currently doing. Okay, so essentially you're going to list out every single thing. The more, the better. And it's going to be a wide variety of range. Don't, don't care about, don't need to care about the types of things they're going to do. Like for example, if you're doing YouTube, it doesn't have to be every single thing is YouTube related. Maybe you are a role of students, you are a boyfriend. For me, I'm a boyfriend, I'm a student, and I'm a YouTuber. So the things that I list out later on, will going to be things that are related to my roles. So if I'm a student, obviously, the first thing is study. Right? Second is if I'm a boyfriend, I'm going to care about creating a wonderful relationship right maybe i am a athlete i have to practice every single day practice on conditioning conditioning and ball practice right so let's up as much as you can maybe it's 14 15 is okay mine is around 13 so as you can see right here I am doing exactly what I say, I'm doing exactly what I preach. So it's so you see for the effect, so see the effect for yourself. I got I list everything and later on we're gonna go over on how to prioritize it and schedule inside. And so later on we're gonna and so later on after we finish our so later on after we prioritizing the task that you wanted to do we're gonna schedule it inside your calendar it's way easier to do that and don't waste any single time on unimportant stuff all right so after you list everything come out we head to step two all right step two categorize categorize your list into three categories all right so first categories is career aim so precisely means things that are gonna take two year plus to achieve it two year plus to achieve so for example if mine are right here like the big goals you have is be the best father for my child and also be the most masculine i can be this kind of thing i can't do in an instant right keep on self improving i have to be successful in the job that i wanted to do feel that I'm going to be tackling in, improve myself mentally, and all those kind of stuff. So this is very huge range, like I'm improving holistically. So be the best father for my child. Oh, 
don't, don't care about it. Be the most masculine uh, man I can be. Don't be shy about writing your goals. Um, nobody's going to see it. And even if they see it, there's nothing wrong, right? And build a 10 out of 10 page. Something like that. This takes a bunch of time to do it. So we're not going to focus into this video. Physics. All right. And after that, the second category is objective. This is the part where sometimes it takes around six, three months to two years to do it. All right. So three months minimum to do it. For me, things like studying for the future exam coming up. Coming up. All right. And having a clear mind. This takes uh, take some time, but doesn't take like two years, right? Hamza sometimes have a video telling you that you can improve your mind, improve your mental health with just two weeks of practice. So around three months, you give yourself to adjust that. And after that, final is your target, which basically means your action, which is uh, day by day doing. You can do this action every single day to go, uh, go further towards your career aim, your goals and objective. So there's things like doing exercise, for study, right? For study, go to gym. You can do it on a daily basis. Meditate. Those kind of to do list. It's to do list mostly going to here. So after these three targets, you done all right. Follow as best as you can. All right. So we go on to step three. After you list out these three things, I want you to focus on objective only. You set your objective as your huge goal first. Career aim. We're not going to touch on that because it's too far ahead of the future. Right, so step three, I want you prioritize your objective. You're gonna do the targets later, all right? Prioritize your objective first. So, uh, again, you're gonna divide into three categories, all right? First, what I want. Essentially, the things that you want to do, you're willing to do, and you're motivated to do. Okay, for me, build a, a, build a wonderful relationship. I want to do it, I love to do it. All right, the second thing, what I'm good at. My, my natural strength and I can do way better than people my natural strength things like piano practicing piano I'm way better than most people although I didn't have the certificate of me examining at the higher degree alright so the last which most people would neglect it since it doesn't relate to them is what the world needs essentially means what others need from you and sometimes people might argue it because we do we do you like I'm the king like I'm doing myself the maverick time of Things like lone wolf essentially this is not good because the things that what the world needs what others need for you is the things that prevents you from losing your job or actually increase your productivity and increase your results to get a better salary or getting more money so for example things that the world needs what world need, what the world needs maybe in your job people need you to file maybe it's doing email if you're doing a nice device job, you have to do your emails, you have to respond to email, go to meeting. If you completely don't do that, you're gonna get fired. So these are things that the world needs which produce the most results. So for me, of course, studying. And after you write out all the lists right here, how you're gonna prioritize it is from the scale of one to ten. From a scale of one to ten. Alright. So ten is the most important, one is the least important. So by you're already doing this objective, what I want you to do is the most important should actually conclude what the world needs. Other than that, the what I want and what I'm good at is going to be optional. So uh, just for reference, the most important in my whole entire to-do list is having a clear mind. This is what I want and this is what others need. The second is study for the upcoming exam. It's what I'm good at and what's other needs. So you see the relationship towards it. What other needs is very important because that's going to drive your results the most. Mostly what I want is the things that you're feeling selfish, maybe it's your personal development, but this is not going to produce results if you don't take the action to do it in the first place. All right, so uh, once you do it, it's going to be something like this. Like having a clear mind, mind is 10, the most important. Nine is study. Seven is building a relationship. Five is getting a license to learn how to drive. All right. So doing like that. So step four, after you finish your objective, I want you to now go to your target. And target is your day-to-day -day action. So it must associate with your objective. So uh, at the previous objective, you have all those kind of lists written down. 
I need you to have at least one or two target associate to your according objective. So for example, if for studying, all right, is your objective, you have to have at least one or two day-to-day -day things that you can do to improve your study for the like, upcoming exam. Maybe is doing more exam-related questions, revise daily. So these are the two target action that you can do to improve your objective, to go to your objective. Maybe is build a real wonderful relationship. Wonderful relationship. That's your objective. So we're gonna the uh, the target action is gonna be looks maxing. Mine is look at maxing and read and implement dating advice. Dating advice and see for yourself. You don't have to follow me, but just do the things that uh, suits you the most. So after doing that, so if uh, like if you have six objective, you're gonna have twelve targets related to the target uh, objective alone. So after you finish that, now is the most important part. All right, step five. I want you to prioritize your target that you have written with the twelve target. Maybe it's eight, maybe it's ten. All right. So the first column that you should be asking yourself is. Which objective does the target advance? The target that you're doing right now, what helps the target the most? Like the targets help what the most? Objective, what's the objective? So for study is you're doing the exercise, like doing exercise. The purpose is to prepare for exam. All right? The second column is how important is that objective for you and for your whole purpose of producing result to be more productive. So for this, the objective, the objective importance, objective importance is nine. On a scale of one to 10 is nine. So it's quite important for me. How effective, effect, effect, oh my God. Effective, does the target advance the objective does your target is your target really that important towards your objective so for this example doing exercise that related to the exam is it important to prepare for exam hell yeah very very important right so on a scale of one to ten ten so the last is your overall importance overall importance you can do your own you can do your own calculation so i take around the the two uh the two mark and divide by it so it's around 10 for me it's 10. so once you do it for every single exercise then you know which one is the most important target that is your prioritize to do every single day all right so for me the most important is doing exercise the second is meditate to clear my mind the third is look maxing build my aesthetic physique so once you have this kind of prioritize for your target now we move on to the last step schedule inside your calendar so as you can see my calendar here is full of the things that i prioritize waking up so today I'm, i wake up i go shower grooming i reading so for the reading part to build my relationship maybe work on my financial literacy my financial my reading skills second study for my exam i put every single uh, thing here rest and meditate and self-improvement, reading, studies, and brunch. And you see that everything I list out is exactly the thing that I'm going to do. It's, pro it's probably is my life. But every single thing that I list down here is what I'm going to do, and it's my life. Like, I record every single thing here. Maybe there's some space around here, but I'm going to fill it up uh, by the end of the day. So as you can see, everything's right here. And you think, like, it might be jail, but this is what going to produce the most results. You're going to be selfish on your time. Although it's not something good, maybe you have something to do with your family, you spend time with them, but you're just gonna follow it as best as you can. Okay, so you, you put this schedule in mind and just gonna follow as best as you can. You don't need to worry about breaking it. It's very normal for you to not follow it sometimes, but just adjust it throughout the time. Maybe you know that the workout from 5.30 to 6.30 in the evening wouldn't work for you, so you move up to the, normal, uh, to the morning, right? So you get what I mean. All right. So just doing this alone, uh, I will link a, I'll link a PDF file of me doing a, a sending you this screenshot on what to do, so you get get a better understanding. But that's it. You're just gonna prioritize a lot on your time, scheduling, and most probably schedule the things that you know is very important. Don't schedule the things that 
maybe flossing your teeth or doing those unimportant tasks. You can do it in the rest of the day, but that shouldn't be your priorities. So do the hard work, especially don't feel like it. Mwah.